What's going on guys, Kevin here from thesportsgeek.com and in this video I'm gonna go over my DraftKings and FanDuel NFL Week 7 picks for the running back, tight end, and defense positions. So if you haven't already seen it, make sure you go check out my DraftKings and FanDuel quarterback and wide receiver picks video for NFL Week 7. I'll leave a link in the YouTube description so you can go check out that video after you watch this one. All right, so first up, we've got a couple running backs that are underpriced due to some injuries. We've got Jaquiz Rogers from the Bucks at 4,300 at DraftKings. Uh, Doug Martin has been ruled out, and Jaquiz Rogers will start at running back for the Bucks once again this week. The Bucks are facing a 49ers team that ranks 31st in yards against per rushing attempt, and they've given up multiple big games to running backs over recent weeks. Rodgers rushed a crazy 30 times in their week five game versus the Panthers. And coming off a bye uh, this past week, I expect another big workload for Rodgers in a good spot against San Francisco. And then we've got Mike Gillisley of the Bills, $3,000 on DraftKings. At the time of recording this, McCoy isn't officially ruled out, uh, but reports have come out that say he is very doubtful. So it looks like McCoy won't be playing and won't be dressing for the Bills. So Mike Gillisley should see a majority of the touches for the Bills. And in his limited action this year, he is averaging 6.9 yards per carry. The Bills also rank first in yards per rushing attempt as a team. And with Miami ranking 25th in yards against per rushing attempt, I could see Gillisley meeting value fairly easily as long as he can stay healthy. Uh, both of these players will probably be very highly owned at both DraftKings and FanDuel, but I think both will make great plays this week. Moving on up in price for the running back position, we've got Devontae Freeman at $5,900 at DraftKings. The Falcons are at home versus the Chargers as 6.5 point favorites with the highest total of the week at 53 points. The Falcons have the best offense in the league right now, averaging 6.9 yards per play. Uh, Freeman is splitting snaps with Tevin Coleman in the backfield, but he still managed games with 34 and 21 DraftKings points. This is a GPP play only for me, but with Atlanta expected to score around 30 points, I could see Freeman having a big day, and I'll include him in some GPP lineups. Now for a really high-priced running back that I like this week, we got DeMarco Murray from the Titans, $7,200 on DraftKings. The Titans are at home versus the Colts as three-point favorites with a total set at 47.5 points. Uh, the Colts are 31st in yards against per play and 28th in rushing yards against per attempt. The Titans are second in the NFL in yards per rushing attempt, and a lot of that has to do with DeMarco Murray, who's had a big season. He scored 21 or more DraftKings points in every game until this past week, uh, but I expect him to get back there this week, and I wouldn't be surprised if he got maybe closer to 30 DraftKings points in a good matchup this week. So in the lineups that I'm not going to be playing Mariota, uh, I'll be playing a lot of DeMarco Murray this week. Moving on to the tight end position, we've got Hunter Henry from the Chargers. He's $3,600 on DraftKings. The Chargers are at Atlanta, and as I mentioned, this game has the highest total of the week. Uh, since playing a role in the Chargers offense, Henry has put up 11, 16, 16, and 20 DraftKings points in those four games. The Falcons defense ranks 19th in yards against per play, and they're 31st in fantasy points against to tight ends. Uh, if the Chargers are trailing, I could see Henry getting a lot of action on Sunday, and at 3,600, I think he's still a little too cheap for the upside he has. I'll throw Henry in maybe 20% of my lineups this week. Another cheap tight end I like this week is Gary Barnage from the Browns at $3,200 at DraftKings this week. The Browns are at Cincinnati as 10-point underdogs with a total set at 45.5 points. Uh, Barnage consistently gets targets each week with at least five targets in every game since week two. And dating back to last year, he has double-digit DraftKings points in nine of his last 13 games played. The Bengals rank 25th in passing yards against per attempt and 26th in fantasy points against the tight ends. So if this game plays out the way that uh, Vegas is expecting it to with Cincinnati pulling ahead and getting up by maybe somewhere around 10 points like they're favored, I figure that the Browns should be throwing quite a bit in the second half and Gary Barnage is always one of the top targets there in uh, Cleveland. And at 3,200, I think he's a good price this week. Moving on to my two favorite DST plays. Starting off, we got the Vikings at $3,700 at DraftKings. They're in Philadelphia as three-point favorites with a low total set at just 40 points. Uh, so not a lot of points expected to be scored in this game. The Eagles are average offensively, ranking 18th in yards per play, and they're going to be facing one of the best defenses in the league. Uh, the Vikings are first in the NFL in yards against per play. Rookie quarterback for the Eagles hasn't faced a top defense like the Vikings yet. 
I could see him struggling and I could see him turning the ball over possibly multiple times. I do think he's a good quarterback, uh, but going against the Vikings is definitely a tough task for any quarterback, especially a rookie. So the, the Vikings are one of my favorite DST options this week. And then we've got the Ravens here, $2,800 on DraftKings. They're in New York against the Jets as two and a half point underdogs with a low total set at just 40 and a half points. The Jets are going with Geno Smith at quarterback for his first start of the year. Uh, he came into last week's game on Monday night against the Cardinals and threw an interception in just six passing attempts. And going back to last year in his lone start, he did okay versus a bad Raiders defense, but he still threw an interception and lost the game 30 to 24. And if you look back to 2014, when he was a full-time quarterback, he threw just 13 touchdown passes and 13 interceptions. So he's a guy who can turn the ball over and the Ravens are pretty good defensively against the pass. They rank sixth in opponent yards per pass attempt. So I think the Ravens could be a really good defense uh, slash special teams play this week at DraftKings or FanDuel. All right, so that's it for my NFL Week 7 picks. And if you guys want to win more money at DraftKings or FanDuel this year, I highly recommend you check out Fantasy Labs and sign up for an account if you haven't already. I'll leave a link to Fantasy Labs in my YouTube description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up or like button on YouTube. It will help support my YouTube channel and let me know that you want me to continue to make these videos weekly. As always, guys, good luck with your contest this week. Hope you make some money. Cheers. If you don't want to miss out on any videos that I post, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. To do that, just click on this button over here, or if you wanna watch another one of my videos that I think you'll enjoy, click on the video image over here.